What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well today we're talking about cooling fans and more particularly we are taking a look at these brand new ones from uh, AC Infinity. These are the Axial 1225 fans. These are cooling fans and let me go ahead and show you where I want to use these first and then we'll unbox them and then we'll get them installed and see how they do with cooling. So if we go ahead and take a journey into our mining room here, still under construction, we are going to be going ahead and applying them in this rig right here. This is our Scarlet Witch mining rig. Uh, I, I called it Scarlet Witch because I just had so many issues with it. Currently this mining rig has an XFX 570, an MSI 570, another MSN, MSI 570, another one. And then we also have a Sapphire Nitro 570. And then we have two R9380s. So we are mining Ergo on these first four. Our Sapphire Nitro, we're actually mining uh, Avian on it, solo mining it. And then these two last ones here, the R9380s, they are mining um, Ethereum Classic. So in the back, you guys might be able to tell, we are running the GPRisers.com cooling fans, the LED ones, they're pretty sweet. They are about 50 CFM total. And, this is, and there's nothing wrong with them. They do the job, they do well. But I really want to test out the AC Infinity ones and see how do they compete. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and power this down, pull it out. We're going to remove our uh, GPU risers, which are powered by Molex. And then we're going to go ahead and install our AC Infinity fans. So let me get the, this rig uninstalled and put on our workbench. And then we'll take a look at the AC Infinity pulling fans. Okay, here she is. So totally uninstalled, a little bit easier to explain what we're running here. Should have done this now that I think about it previously, but that's okay. So 570s and our two R9380s. So this is what we're gonna go ahead and uninstall, which is, these are the GPRisers.com LED fans. And we're gonna take a look here. So this is the AC Infinity Axial 1225. So let's take a look here in the box, see what we get. All right, so we have our grill for protecting the fans for both sides actually. And then here is that actual fan. So these are not cheap, meaning the quality of the product. These are, these are metal. This isn't plastic at all. So like this is, this is actually has some weight to it, um, which is really, really nice. So you can see on here, AC 110, 120 volt, 50 to 60 Hertz, seven to 6.5 Watts. Uh, so put, putting out a decent amount of Watts. So something like this is gonna put out a lot more Watts than something like our GPU risers fans back there, uh, definitely. So, wow, I'm really surprised how heavy these are. Like, you could break a window with this thing. So we have that in the box. Now here's something that makes it very different from other cooling fans. First, look at the connector, as well as an outlet plug. So AC Infinity doesn't just specialize, you know, in fans, they specialize in a lot of other items. And they, um, a lot of like cabinet cooling and things like that, like entertainment cabinet cooling and such, and also um, hydroponic tents, so you know them very well with grow tents. So you can see here, we have this little connector, and that connector is gonna go ahead and connect into here, and then we go ahead and plug into the wall. So for this rig, we're gonna have five of these. So we're gonna run this into a power strip and then plug that into the wall directly. I am actually chatting with AC Infinity to find out like, can we go ahead and do something like this over Molex? Could we get a cable like this that has this type of connector, but then on this end, it's Molex. And then I don't even know like the math behind Molex and what it can support for power and things like that. I'm just kind of thinking out loud when it comes down to what works best for a miner. And Correct me if I'm wrong in chat, guys, but as a miner, we want Molex connections for our cooling fans. So other than that, uh, we have some mounting hardware in here, and you have these super long uh, bolts in here, which is what you want. So if you need to thread through it, we won't need to go that crazy with these bolts. You can see like these are meant to go through something pretty thick. Um, so we'll be able to repurpose the ones, the screws that we're using on there, which will work nice. So this is our guinea pig. So this guy here, uh, based off of what I see on the computer, so it's 100, here, here it is right here and it is 120 by 120 by 25 millimeters. So pretty standard there. Uh, it does go ahead and say it's 51 CFM, and it actually gives us the noise level of 30 with a speed of 1800. 
Now, if we take a look, not really comparing apples to apples entirely, but same size, 120, 120 by 25, and this is for the gprisers.com one. Uh, the RPMs are 1500 versus plus or minus 10%, it says, versus the AC Infinity one was 1800. Now, these are quieter, the GP risers one at 23 uh, dBA versus the AC Infinity is 30, and the CFM for these is 38, whereas for our AC Infinity is 51. So what I did was I actually took a screenshot. You can see it's blank here because we shut it off, but I took a screenshot here from a cooling perspective. Now, I know the math makes sense. CFM wise, the AC Infinity ones should cool uh, much better than the GPU risers, but the price difference is very, very different between these. So we're not comparing apples to apples, guys. I'm just using GPU risers as an example in this video. So that being said, Let's go ahead and spin around here. And uh, the last thing I wanted to show you was a future video. I want to take it up a level. So the Axial 1225, we said does 51 CFM, right? Take a look at this. This guy here is the, is the 1238AW. Look at the thickness of this thing here. Here's the normal thickness. Look at the thickness of this one. It's crazy. So this guy is a beast and it does over 100 CFM. So now we're starting to get into more like your server case uh, fans with the CFM. I mean, and we're kind of in between. We're in between like your traditional cooling fan. Now this is a lot thicker, I think this is 38 millimeter, but we're starting to get up to that server level. Uh, so this one I'm gonna test out in a future video. I can't wait to see how this guy does individually. So let me get this powered down. We'll remove all of our GPU risers fans and we'll get these installed and then we'll power it up and see how we do.
Okay, so let's talk about how things went. Um, so it turned out fantastic. I love the look of these. I did put the AC Infinity grill on the back side. In the future, my goal is I might actually install the other side one. They give you one that comes with it on the other side. I just wish on the other side, this is me being picky, that it had the AC Infinity logo for the other side as well, um, just to stop a lot of our like PCI cables and stuff like that. So uh, a lot tighter to work. You know, traditionally when you're putting on these cooling fans, you don't need to work on the back side because you're just holding up the fan and zipping it in um, with the short little screws that the GPRisers.com fans come with. In this situation, we didn't have that option, so our hands were in the back. Now, let me go ahead and grab the screws. So this is from another bag, and the screws that it comes with, the only challenge is, I mean, look how thick this screw is. And I know it's meant for cabinets and stuff, but it's, it's too, too deep. I would love to see, and if anybody from AC Infinity is listening to this, um, hopefully they do, something half the length of this would be awesome. Uh, that would work out for this scenario. Uh, in addition to that, you know, we had talked about a, a cable that goes to Molex. That's definitely going to be needed because now look, look what we have left over. Nobody likes extra cable. Look at all this extra cable left over. So we're going to zip tie this all together. And then we have the five total, five total cables that we need to go ahead and plug into a uh, power strip. And, you know, we as miners like simplification. We like things clean. And so being able to plug into Molex would be awesome. Um, so anyways, outside of that, everything came together really well. If I didn't say previously, our fans are set to blow across our cards, across and out, versus trying to suck them away. So let me get a power strip real quick, and then we'll go ahead and get this connected, and we'll do our first power up. Okay, so we have all of our fans connected to our power strip now. I have a big 12 uh, plug power strip here. We have all five of them there. I didn't do anything with zip ties or wire ties yet. We just wanna make sure they work before we lock anything down. So we're not even gonna turn on the rig yet. I just wanna go ahead and flip the power switch on the power supply and let's see how we make out. Ooh yeah, there we go. So all of our fans are on right now. Ooh, you get some nice airflow over here. Now we talked about these are 51 CFM. Uh, so they're gonna do significantly more just as an example, as I said before, we're not comparing to apples to apples here. The GP risers one was 38 CFM. These are 51, so definitely significantly more. And you can feel we got some great airflow coming across these. So my next step, guys, is I'm going to take this and put this in our mining room in the exact same place it was, get it powered up in mining, let it mine for quite a few minutes, and then we're gonna check the temps in Hive OS to see, okay, 38, CFM versus our 51, we should see a significant difference in our cooling of our cards because we are at almost, almost double, um, a little bit less uh, of our CFM there. So let me get this installed in our mining room. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look. We got our rig back installed. I have the cables coming over and plugging into our power strip here. Uh, so our next step is let's go ahead and get our rig powered on. So we do have to power on our HP server power supply, as well as power to our ATX power supply. You can see our cards are powering up, which is great. So let's come over here and I'm gonna hit the button on our power strip. And you can see in the back, our AC Infinity fans are up and running. So let me jump over to Hive OS. I'm gonna give it about 15, 20 minutes and let's see what our numbers are like. Okay, so let's take a look. So right here we have on the GPU risers, uh, cooling fan, 38 CFM. Uh, and you can see here, let's just look here, 50, 61, 66, 68, 58, 61, and 52. This is a snapshot that I took. Taking a look up top here, the same one that was 50 is now 40. We have 58 is 49. We have 52 is 43, 61, 66, and 68, or 49, 54, and 55, and 61 is now 51. So we'd say about a 10 degree difference on our GPUs, which is pretty huge. I mean, I have my GPUs at 100% right now, so I could definitely tone them back. I mean, they, they don't need to be on 100%. I just wanted to set them at 100% for this test. but. That kind of gives you guys an idea as to how important cooling is uh, for your GPUs. 
I'm gonna let you guys decide what you guys do for what cooling fans you guys buy. This is just me providing you guys some details. As I said before, and I'll say again, I'm not comparing GPRisers.com fans to our AC Infinity fans over here. This is merely me highlighting the product and letting you guys know what's out there and what's available. Now, the AC Infinity fans, they're definitely pricey. I mean, $18 for a fan is crazy, crazy. But we have to think about it. We have plastic versus metal, higher CFM, and at the end of the day, the only thing I like to tell my viewers when I'm talking about parts and costs and stuff like that is, we put so much money into the GPUs that we forget the supporting products need to be just as good a quality. So just my recommendation, use whatever you want. Use a box fan for all I care. Totally your call, guys. Anyways, if you guys are interested in buying anything over on AC Infinity's store, they have a variety of different items. They have inline fans, they have wall mount fans, they have everything under the sun when it comes down to cooling. Go over to their store, check them out. If you wanna use my coupon code, it will get you 15% off their entire store. Use the code THEHOBBYISTMINER when you check out, and that'll get you guys 15% off. Well, that's all I have for today, guys. Thank you very much for joining me. Give, it a, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Take care.